Hey guys, this is Pastor Scott, and I'm coming to you live from the One Accord uh, office <laughs> in my room. Hold on while I do what I normally ask you guys to do to pray and to hit the share button. So Lord Jesus, we just ask that you bless this broadcast, that you will get this out in the way that you want, and that people will be blessed and encouraged in Jesus' name. Amen. So hold on one second. Let me share this to a few groups. Uh, lunch with the Bible and friends. Uh... God's 10 California, one accord crusades. Verse for today, Jesus Christ is God and our bros at meet me at the altar. So sorry if the camera shaked a little bit. I just have it set up on this little uh, tripod. Let me adjust that so it does not fall over. So yeah, so uh, I just wanted to do a testimony time. I usually like to do them on Mondays, uh, but let's read the scripture that the Lord put on my heart. Uh, like I said, the title of this is The Best Easter Ever. Hey, Bob, I pray that you guys are encouraged. Luke chapter 24, verse 1 through 8. Now, upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away at the sepulcher. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. As they were afraid, they bowed down their faces to the earth and said unto, and he said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but he is risen. Or but he is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spoke unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered unto the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. Amen. So that was a scripture that the Lord had put on my heart for the Easter service. We had Brother Jeff bring the message, and we had our service. But I wanted to share with you how that kind of rolled out. As you know, uh, we are in this uh, stay-at-home kind of uh, social distancing thing right now to uh, flatten the curve on this COVID-19. And praise God, the reports from uh, President Trump and Pence and the team is that it is flattening in most all the places. There's a few like uh, Boston and Chicago that are going up. Yes, nice to hear from you too, brother, that are going up right now. They're at the kind of the upswing and then they'll get to that 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 uh, top and then they'll start to curve down too as well. So we're in that, I believe, over here in Orange County, California, New York, and a lot of other places are but there's still a, a social distancing stay at home order and we normally have our service at the park at 2 30 every Sunday and we feed the poor both the word and food and uh, we're just there for them showing them that we care and whatnot and we have a service a regular service with a little bit of a discipleship uh, program uh, worked into that with uh, daily reading and memorizing a scripture per month and then um, and putting on the full armor of God, trying to give them something that will help them to get them to the next level that God would have them. But uh, we caught wind on, uh, I think, Saturday. Uh, I'm speaking of this past Sunday, Easter Sunday. We caught wind uh, Friday or Saturday from one of our brothers that lives out there on the streets right now temporarily, either in their car or on the actual street itself, that they closed up the park and uh, the, at the park that we normally have service. And uh, so I went by uh, with my brother, or I went by by, by myself and uh, verified that. And yes, they had the parking lot caution taped off and then a, a sign up there saying that there was no gatherings at all. Um, if they had not said that, we would have keep kept the service going um, as we have, but it did say no gatherings at all. So in accordance to Romans chapter 13, verse 1, and also the fact that most of my team and the people that attend the services are convicted felons, and we're not going to push the envelope, uh, uh, just saying. Uh, so uh, we prayed about it, and I was really torn and really upset, and uh, I didn't know what to do and how we were going to do this, and I know we can go live. We go live all the time, but how would that work? Would we go there and risk getting in trouble, or would we just feed the homeless and run, um, or would we have something at Jeff's house or Joni's, one of the team members, 
or whatever. And I do hello mama and uh, praying uh, that everything will be fine in the name of Jesus. Uh, as you're at the doctor, you will not pick up anything to come back here so that we can all be healthy, happy, and safe. Um, but uh, I believe the Lord gave us uh, an idea. We decided to have the service here at the Trotsky House in Placentia. But prior to that, like I said, I wanted to share with you how this was the best Easter ever in my book. Um, even though we couldn't be out there or go to church like we normally would, uh, the Lord had a plan. There was a video that I saw about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, of a sound like a gentleman either in Australia or Europe. He had an accent and the, the buildings were tall. And it seemed like a European style. And uh, someone had invited him to his block and asked him to uh, minister. And he just did a very simple thing. He had the hatchback of his trunk open up of, uh, of his car, had a speaker right there, and he just said a few words and they sang Amazing Grace or played it. And then people started coming out of their houses. And then he had a short prayer uh, at the end and just, you know, kind of God bless you and encourage the people. And uh, a couple days ago, uh, last weekend, I believe it was, there was a neighbor down the street, Walt, his wife. I Sorry, I don't know what her name is. She was riding around her bike saying, Easter Sunday, we're going to come out at 10 a.m. and sing Amazing Grace. Amen. So I maybe she had seen the video. Um, even if she hadn't, the Holy Spirit was speaking to her because I had already saw it. And I thought it was a wonderful uh, outreach that that man was doing. So I was inspired by it. So we come to Easter Sunday this year, uh, 2020. And she had said that and told said the neighbors on this block would come out at 10 a.m. and uh, sing Amazing Grace. But I, I felt like someone had to kind of grab the bull by the horns and uh, organize or at least maybe have a speaker so we could hear like that was on the video. So just prior to that, my brother uh, was wanting to uh, work with his uh, stepson on the drums and he acquired uh, some speakers and a PA system so that they could play along with the music and have some father-son time. And it just so happens that some speakers were donated by Brother Phil from the homeless ministry who lives in his uh, car as well. And uh, we had those readily available. We hooked them up at around 9, 9 something in the morning. And then we checked the speakers out. We had song ready, queued up. And then we got out there in the morning uh, around 9.55 or something. And me and my brother Brett looked at each other and there was nobody out on the block. <laughs> it was five minutes to or something. And and he said, well, you, you said it starts at 10 o'clock and... We also sent the word out on social media. You can see it on my timeline that people to step out and do it uh, at 10 a.m. So there would be people gathering from around the world to do this as well. So we said we wanted to start on time. So I just opened up my Bible to Luke chapter 24 and read down to verse 8. And we remembered the Lord Jesus and what he did, just like it says in verse 8 of Luke 24. And they remembered his words. Amen. So at right at 10 o'clock a.m., I prayed us in, and then my brothers started singing Amazing Grace a cappella. And I tried to join them as I was so excited, and I messed up some lyrics. And, and anyway, we, we went out and we did it. You can see that on my timeline, or you can go to our YouTube channel, and please subscribe, and you can just go down and look for the slide that says Amazing Grace, hashtag Amazing Grace 2020, and see the actual video. It's about 15 minutes or so long. But we sing, we sung a cappella Amazing Grace and then after that, and then right as we were singing, some neighbors started to chime in. You can hear them praising God down the street, yelling and clapping and such. And then after we sung it a cappella through several verses, we then played the For King and Country version on the speakers as loud as we could go at the end of our block in the cul-de-sac. Then I grabbed the camera and started moving out uh, and grabbing footage. And there were several neighbors out along the block that were standing out. Yes, we are in total lockdown. May I request to pray for safekeeping. Lord Jesus, uh, bless them and help them to use this time to uh, glorify you and to give them creative ideas to do outreach and to uh, bless the saints and keep them safe and that no weapon formed against them will prosper in the name of Jesus. There you go, Casper. Um, so yeah, so I took the camera down and several of the neighbors were out as we were playing the song and they were singing, they were raising their hands, went all the way down to the end of the block and passed up neighbor upon neighbor upon neighbor, either by themselves or with their family, 
went all the way to the end of the block. Even neighbors were stopped at the end of the block and you could kind of hear the music that was being played at the end of the cul-de-sac from the Trotsky house. So people were singing and praising God that way. And then I walked all the way back down the block. And then as soon as I got down, the song stopped. And then the song was queued up after that by the grace of God, I believe, which was give thanks. And we started to give thanks. And then as I walked into the cul-de-sac, the neighbors came out. Uh, they were, this was probably around 10, 10 a.m., 10, 07, by the time we sung a cappella and sang through the For King and Country uh, version of Amazing Grace. And they had uh, the mother, uh, Lynn, had a violin, and then she had her daughter out, and then the roommate, and then they were out there, you know, when are we going to sing Amazing Grace? Well, I said, well, we already did at 10 o'clock, like we said, and I said, that's okay, do it again, and she played Amazing Grace on her violin, her daughter sung, and her and their roommate, and then played a couple more songs, and we just had such a blessing, and then the neighbors came down into the cul-de-sac, and everyone congregated at the end of the outreach, about 15, 16 minutes uh, later from then, and uh, we had the lady that started it uh, pray us out, and we just had a blessing. So you can scroll down my timeline and see that uh, if you'd like to. But I just wanted to encourage you uh, that it is an interesting time, but God is still moving and things are still happening. And what made this the best Easter ever is the fact that that happened, that uh, outreach, we just showed up. It did not seem like anyone was going to show up or come out of their house at 10 o'clock. We were standing out there pretty much by ourselves <laughs> and the angels, me and my brother, with the speakers on to seven or eight, uh, singing Amazing Grace a cappella, And then neighbors started coming out, and then the family started coming out, and, and uh, the whole community on our block was brought together because of this. And had we not been on lockdown, that wouldn't have happened. It's the first time it's happened on this block in 40, uh, 48 years or 45 that we've been here. And that was awesome. And even the neighbor next door that I don't think are believers yet, and we're praying for them, uh, had probably the biggest smile out of everybody. So that was awesome. And then after that, we had our service here in the backyard, um, doing the social distancing. That was a wonderful time. The team showed up, Joni and Jeff, and then the family was out there in the pool area, and we just had a blessing of a time. You can check that out on our timeline or on our YouTube channel at One Accord Crusades. Just uh, type that in, look for our channel, look for the three crosses, and then subscribe, and you can see all of these videos that I'm talking to. I do my best to upload them from Facebook Live, then to YouTube. And then after the Amazing Grace Outreach, uh, service online here in the backyard by the pool. Then we also had a wonderful uh, meal with the family. And that to me is what made it the greatest Easter ever is the fact that the Lord did all those three things, even though we're on lockdown quarantine, flattening the curve, praying and focusing on Jesus. The Lord was magnified. His word went out and the community was brought together by a simple act of stepping out at 10 a.m., on Easter and singing an amazing grace by faith. And then I pray that we can do that every year, kind of an annual thing before or after we do our Easter services when things get back to normal, 10 a.m. Every Easter, step outside your house, whatever time zone you're in, and sing amazing grace. Amen. God bless you guys. We love you. This is Pastor Scott checking out. And remember Luke chapter 24. And they remembered his words. This is speaking of Jesus while he was on the earth, talking about how he must be uh, turned over, delivered into the hands of sinful men, be crucified, and then on the third day, raise again. And let me pray for you. Father, we thank you for these precious people. And if there's one that's watching right now or later, be it live or be it on YouTube or Facebook after, and they do not know Jesus, I ask that you touch their heart right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, remembering that tomorrow is not promised. And if you're not right with Jesus today, you're not going to make it to heaven. So whatever they're struggling with, bless them. And if they'd like to make that choice, I ask that they pray this with us in accordance to Scripture. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And verse 13 goes on to say, for all who call on the name of Jesus will be saved. So if there's anybody that needs to make that choice right now, I ask that you touch their hearts. For your word says that they cannot say that Jesus is Lord unless by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
And if you'd like to make that commitment, sorry for my messy hair. I don't like to pray with my hat on. <laughs> Just pray these words after me. It's simple. Confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You will be saved. So just repeat after me. Lord, I'm sorry that I sinned. I ask you to forgive me. I confess to the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead. From this moment forth, I consider myself to be born again. From this moment forth, I will do my best to learn more about you and to walk in your ways. Please fill me with the Holy Spirit now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. And if you said that prayer, please reach out to us or go to your local church um, when things get back to normal. But right now, just uh, watch as much as you can. Read your Bible, pick up your Bible, download the Bible app however you want. And uh, you can do a simple uh plan that we do. I call it the one, two, three plan. First thing in the morning, you wake up and you pray, and then you open up your word to the Psalm for the day and the proverb for the day. Today is the 15th, so you would have, or you can read now, Psalm 15 and Proverb 15. So that's step one. Step two is read whatever the Holy Spirit puts on your heart throughout the day. And then step three is in the evening, read one chapter from the New Testament. And that's a simple one, two, three Bible reading plan. Wake up, read your Psalm and the Proverb, read your Bible throughout the day and pray and then read one New Testament chapter in the evening. Hey Amen. If you'd like to see that plan and the full complete plan, log onto our website at oneaccordcrusades.com. Click on the little drop-down menu, the three or four little lines in the top left, and then the plan, you can see it, you can click on it, and then you can have the full plan in color, which includes putting on the armor of God and then our memory verse, which is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 8. Hey Amen. God bless you guys. We love you. Pastor Scott checking out. I pray that you were blessed. If you need anything at all, give us a call at 1-855-70-JESUS or log on to our website at oneaccordcrusades.com. Please remember to like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube.